we've looked at powers before. So for instance, four to the power of three over two. So this is a, a rational exponent here, four to the power of three over two. Now if I do this on my calculator, four to the power of three divided by two, we get a nice number eight. So how, what is the calculator doing when we go four to the power of three over two and it arrives at an answer of eight? Well, to make sense of this, we're gonna convert this power to a radical. So a radical is something that has a, a root sign on it. And this is really what happens. When you have, an, when you have a, a power with a fractional exponent, the denominator tells us what root we're going to take, so the second root or the square root, and then we're going to take that and raise it to the power of 3. So x to the power, you have a base x, and it's raised to the power of a over b. This means we are going to take the b root of x, and raise it to the power of a. So this is a really important um, formula, I guess you could you could say, or way of representing and converting a power to a radical. So this is what's happened here. So it says take the square root. This is going to be my root. Take the second root of four, which is two. and then raise to this power. So I need to go two to the power of three, two times two times two. That's how it comes up with, with eight. So when we have a, an exponent, an exponent's a fraction, the denominator tells us this is the root that we need to take. And then once we've done that, then, then we need to raise it to the power of a. I'll show you another example here. Uh, let's do 27 to the power of 2 over 3. So this is my power. I'm going to convert it to a radical. So this means I need to take the third root of 27 and raise that to the power of 2. So the cube root, or the third root of 27, means what times what times what is 27. Well, that would be 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So this would be 3, and now I need to raise it to the power of 2. So 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. So 27 to the power of 2 thirds equals 9. Here's another example, 8x squared to the power of 1 third. So writing this as a um, radical, I could say this is the third root of 8x squared to the power of 1. Now remember when we have an exponent, this exponent is going to apply to everything in the base. So I could write this then as the third root of 8 to the power of 1 times the third root of x to the power of 2. So the third root of x squared, and then all of that to the power of 1. And so what is the third root of 8? Well, that's 2, and 2 to the power of 1. Third root, third root of 8 is 2, 2 to the power of 1 is 2. And then here I have the cube root of x squared. So this would be converting the exponent, or the power, to a radical. 2 cubed root x squared. And then, of course, so we've looked at going from, from uh, powers to, we went this way, powers to radicals. We could also take a radical and express it as a power. So if we had this, and we wanted to write this as a power, this would be x to the power of 2 over 3. So the, the root that we're going to take is in our denominator, and the the uh, power here becomes a numerator of our exponent. Um, just a few 
few little terms here that that you could could make sure you know. So we've talked about these things being radicals. That's the radical. This has a name here too. It's called the radicand. And this is just some vocab. And then the little the root that we're going to be taking is called the index. Okay, so just just some vocab uh, terms terms there. Let's look at another example converting the uh, radical to the power. So here I have the square root of a to the power of 7. So it's raised to the power 7. So I know that's going to be there. The denominator tells me what, what root this is going to be. Now there's no number sitting here in the index part. If there's no number there, it's assumed that it's going to be a 2. And and you know that before. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 9 is 3. If there's no number written there, it's meant what times what, or what is the square root. Otherwise, we'll show a number like, what's the cubed root of 27? Well, that's going to be 3. Or what's the fourth root of 16? What times what times what times what is 16? That would be that would be 2. So if it just says root a to the power 7, that's going to be a to the power of 7 over 2. So really it's just a matter of memorizing um, this notation here and where we will easily be able to convert uh, powers to radicals and radicals back to powers.